If you're the Byron Tigers, how do you tap what you've done the last few years on the football field? The last five playoff seasons, they've at least reached the state semifinals. Let's get a look at why this could be another big year in Tiger Town in our football two a days. These Tigers check a lot of boxes. Some are commitment for starters. This group of kids, freshman through senior, might be the best group that we've ever had as far as, you know, being, being here all summer, showing up on time. They also check the depth box. There are 40 players on the varsity squad. And they check the experience box when it comes to having seen varsity action. Our experience level, um, there was a few of these kids that started, you know, uh, on the 21 state championship team. But there was also a lot of those kids that were practicing with us, you know, pretty much the entire year. Uh, we had probably 12 of these sophomores, now seniors, up with us practicing. The Tigers did lose a great quarterback, competitor, and leader in the graduated Braden Smith, and they lost three offensive linemen who earned all-conference honors last year. But there's experience back everywhere else. All of the team's top running backs return. Kai Aiken, Ashton Hankel, Braden Knoll, Carson Bain, Jacob Ross, and Caden Considine, who powered his way to a team-high 785 yards rushing as a freshman last year. So what can he do now as a sophomore? Well, we're going to find out. You know, he had a great year last year. I thought, you know, in junior tackle, he didn't even carry the ball. He was too big. So last year was actually the first year with the ball in his hands, and I thought he really adapted well and did a great job. I think we're really deep this year. We've got a lot of guys that can run, carry the ball, run blocks. Aiden Shank has the edge on being the starting quarterback this year since he's a senior. The defense looks to be set also. The linebacker unit will be strong as usual, with Considine in the middle and three-year starter Jacob Ross at one of the outside spots. And Ross likes the D-line that's in front of him. I think we look as good as we've had the past three years. We got some really good guys on that D-line and excited to see them. Braylon Kilduff, Jared Clunch, and Josh Harris lead that group. Harris was first team all-conference last season, and he's been attacking the weights. He just broke two of our all-time records here this year with the bench record um, and the squat records. We're ready to go this year, ready to go far as far as we can. Well, tomorrow on our two days, it's the Rochelle Hums at 6 o'clock and the Guilford Vikings at 9 and 10. On the Bears